everyone. I wanted to show you how to update your Embrilliance embroidery software. Embrilliance has just pushed an update. It is February of 2021, and they just pushed an update. And when you launch Embrilliance, meaning when you double click the icon and it and the program opens up, you've launched it. Embrilliance automatically checks for an update unless you tell it not to right here. And I highly discourage you from doing that. You don't want to disable your update checks. And when it, you see this box, you can click OK, but I, I'm just going to click on this link and it will take you to Embrilliance Downloads. Embrilliance is a great software for machine embroidery and it works with every kind of home embroidery machine. It does not install on your machine, it installs on your computer and then it allows you to create files, merge, resize, all that stuff. It's very, very handy. It automatically took me to the downloads update page and all you need to do, if scroll right here in the middle and if you have a Mac uh, you'll click this link and here is the manual PDF and then there's some online help and now here is Windows XP through Windows 10 and you can click right here and then there is your Windows PDF manual and online help and so then if you're going to update Thumbnailer, this is where you would do that. Thumbnailer allows you to see your embroidery files on your computer, like icons in your pictures. And there's all kinds of uh, things on here that you can look at. But I need to update my Embrilliance. So the new update is 1.169. It is a zip file, so I'm just going to click this. And it's going to begin a download. Look down here at the bottom of my screen and it says Embrilliance 1169 setup.zip. So that's downloading and that is going into my downloads folder. That happens automatically. Everything will go into your downloads folder. Now this is a zip file and you don't want to open it from right here. So you can just kind of ignore this, but you want to go over here on your taskbar. Your icons may be different from mine, but most Windows machines will have this little yellow folder right here. So you want to click that yellow folder. I will close these to show you guys what it's going to look like. You want to click that yellow folder and when it launches, over here on the left hand side it says quick access and there's a little arrow points down. If it is sideways on that little arrow you can click it and it will open up and there is a bunch of folders in there. When you click on the yellow folder and you open it up and you don't see this quick access right here, if you don't see that there's a button right up here in the top. It says navigation pane. Click that button and you want to make sure that navigation pane is checked. If I click it, it goes away. And so you may not see your navigation pane. You want to click that button and check it. And there's your navigation pane. And we want to go to downloads. You see that down arrow. We want to go to downloads. And there is in Brilliance 1169 setup right there. I'm going to leave it right in the downloads folder. You want to click on it one time to highlight it. And then you want to right click and you'll open up a menu and scroll all the way up and you want to click extract all. And it wants to know where do you want to extract it, select a destination. I'm going to leave it right where it's at, which is in my C drive and downloads in Brilliance. I'm just going to leave it right here and click extract. And then it's going to run the setup. And you should see a little, looks like an old fashioned, I'm going to make this bigger by clicking on the view tab and go to extra large icons. And you'll see an old fashioned looking computer right here. And it tells you if you hover over it. The company is Brighton Leap 
and it tells you when it was created, which was yesterday, the 18th, and it is 26 meg. So I'm just going to double click it. A box popped up on my screen and it says, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? And it is for Imbrilliance setup. I'm going to click yes. Now you can see my screen again. You have to accept the end user license agreement. You can read it if you want. It has all kinds of rules and whatnot. If you do not accept it, it will not install. So you need to click, I accept the agreement and click next. And I like to have a shortcut for Imbrilliance on my desktop, which is the home screen of my computer when it first opens. I actually have mine down here on my taskbar because I use it so much. But I'm going to click Next. And I'm just going to click Install. And now it's going to do its thing. It says the following applications are using files that need to be updated by setup. It is recommended you allow setup to automatically close these applications after the installation is complete. It will attempt to restart. So it says embroidery system right here. That's because I have Embrilliance open right now. If that happens, just leave it where it is and say automatically close the applications. Unless you are working on something right now, then you would want to click do not close the application or you can come right over to it, X out of that, and close the app. If you have something you're working on, then you would want to save it before you go through this step. I'm going to click Next. It's extracting the files. And then it says it's all finished and it's going to launch in Brilliance. I'm going to click Finish. And there it is. You want to see if you need to get the update. Maybe you didn't get that little pop-up notice. You can come up to the very top menu and click on Help and check for updates. And it will tell you if the program is up to date or not. And if you want to see what version you have, you can come back up to Help and About and it will give you your version number right there and you can compare that to the current version on the Embrilliance website. It's that simple to update Embrilliance by using the little pop-up notice and the link that they provide for you.